Verathena Polydocanol Injectable Foam 1% Mechanism of Action Verathena Polydocanol Injectable Foam 1% is the first and only FDA-approved foam for the treatment of incompetent great saphenous veins, called GSV for short, accessory saphenous veins, and visible varicosities of the GSV system above and below the knee. Verathena has a consistent low nitrogen formulation for reliable results over a wide range of vein diameters, including large veins greater than 12 millimeters and tortuous and recurrent veins that may not be treatable with other modalities. Incompetent tributaries can be treated through either one injection site or, when the situation warrants, multiple independent sites. Having confirmed venous access, the vein distal to the access point is compressed prior to the injection of Verathena. When injection begins, a column of microfoam advances to fill the vein. The physical properties of Verathena with its small bubble structure and consistent bubble size make it cohesive, aiding in the displacement of blood and facilitating the filling of the lumen. Displacement of the blood helps ensure that the polydocanol in the microfoam is neither diluted nor deactivated. And circumferential endothelial destruction occurs, which is essential to venous ablation. Filling of the lumen minimizes the potential for irregular recanalization and the recurrence of venous insufficiency. The vein's endothelial lining is made from a single layer of flattened cells. The attachment of polydocanol's hydrophobic poles interferes with the integrity of the cell membrane and intracellular junctions. Consequently, the endothelial lining is quickly destroyed and nitric oxide, which normally maintains vein patency by regulating vascular smooth muscle tone, is no longer produced. The smooth muscle in the vein contracts, narrowing the lumen of the vein until it has almost no volume. Proximal pressure is applied to the GSV so that as the lumen contracts, the microfoam is forced distally past the injection site into other incompetent tributaries. As the microfoam encounters competent veins, it slowly mixes with blood. The microfoam is diluted and deactivated. Residual gas bubbles are swept away in the general venous circulation. The gas used to generate the microfoam has very low nitrogen content, no more than 0.8%. The residual gas bubbles are rapidly absorbed, the carbon dioxide goes into solution, and the oxygen attaches to deoxygenated hemoglobin in the venous blood. This is important because they do not obstruct the pulmonary microvasculature or, in the presence of a right-to-left shunt, the cerebral circulation, which can occur with air-based bubbles that contain primarily nitrogen. A thrombotic process in the vein causes a mild inflammatory reaction with fibroblast infiltration and scar formation, which eliminates the lumen, and eventually the vein becomes a fibrous cord, which dissipates over time. For more information, visit verathenaprofessional.com. Verathena Polydocanol Injectable Foam 1% Microfoam Generating Technology Verathena Polydocanol Injectable Foam, a low nitrogen microfoam with controlled physical properties, is dispensed from a proprietary canister device. After the Verathena canister has been activated, the Verathena transfer unit is firmly pressed down. The oxygen-carbon dioxide gas mixture and the 1% polydocanol solution are drawn up and enter the shuttle meshes where the microfoam is conditioned, ensuring that the median bubble diameter is less than 100 microns with no bubbles greater than 500 microns. 
The resulting microfoam, when generated following the instructions for use, is a cohesive, low-nitrogen injectable microfoam with controlled density and bubble size. Verathena injectable microfoam exits through the one-way control valve for filling of the syringe. For more information, visit verathenaprofessional.com.